Hello my views and gents, it's Mama Day here. Hello my views and gents, it's Mama Day. So I'm coming at you guys real quick with a requested video. Her name is i 3 a by k but I was wondering, why do you do the aloe vera first and not last? Wouldn't it be best to close your cuticles after moisturizing with oil and cream to trap all that goodness. I'm confused. And then another said it as well. They said, if the aloe vera closes the cuticles, why do you put the cream on after it? Wouldn't cuticles be closed? How does the moisture get in? Please get back to me. I'm a bit confused. So Cindy A, another one said that. So I was like, you know what? That's a really good um, question. And you guys know I like to test things and see how it goes. So what I did was I decided to do the LAOC method, which is my normal high porosity method, on one side of my hair and then do the LOAC method on the right side of my hair. The difference is, is I'm moving the oils. I will say that both the aloe and the oil are salients. Um, and I'll do this in a totally different video because you guys know I'm very into showing is believing. I noticed that the aloe vera does not stay sealed for a long period of time. After a while, it will go down to the bottom on the porosity test. So I tested it out on two different times. I twisted my hair one time using the LAOC method on one side and the L. Oh, AC method on the other. I'm not used to saying that one yet. On the other side, and I wore my hair out for a week and I wanted to see what the difference was. Um, really no difference. Um, I want to probably say maybe the right side was a little bit frizzier than the left side. Other than that, the moisture was pretty much the same. There was no difference. And I wore that in twist and then twisted it out, which is what I normally do. I wear it for twists maybe four days and then on the fifth day I unravel it. Then I went ahead and I said, well, let's, you know, let's change the style up a little bit. Hey guys, just, you know, for the whole Michael Jackson glove thing, I cut my finger cutting garlic, so...
shingle was probably the shrinkage on the side that I had the L O A C method. My hair shrunk a little bit. Um, that was the only difference, but the moisture lasted the same amount of time. They were literally neck and neck, you guys. There was really no difference in how my hair felt, how my hair retained, it, retained moisture. So with that being said, I think you can do both. And I think that's simply because, again, the aloe vera is not a permanent sealant to your cuticles. It's going to help seal it on a regular basis if you use it regularly, but it's not going to be permanent. So that's why I prefer the LAOC method um, just because I think of leave-in, I think of aloe shutting and closing that leave-in in, then putting that oil on to prevent the um, aloe from lifting up, the cuticles from lifting with the aloe, and then put the cream on. But per the experiment, they were both the same. They were both fine. The moisture retention was great. Um, and it just goes by your preference of which one. So there's no right or wrong way to apply those as long as you're applying that product in within those steps, as long as the leave-ins first, and then you can decide if you want to do the aloe or if you want to do the oil. So it depends on your preference. Yeah. So that's it guys. Quick video. And as always, I hope you like it. You love it. Comment below and tell me what you think. Bye. Bye, guys, and thanks for requesting the video. Hey there, young blood. Hey now. <laughs> ah, come get this sugar daddy.